So let's have a look at formative feedback in action. You'll notice when I press formative feedback, the videos come up the left-hand column. Now, if formative feedback says that you have no video in your camera roll, just make sure your location services are switched on within the app itself. So let's take a video of Rachel, and we'll have a look at formative feedback in action. Basically, this app was designed to foster and encourage communication and collaboration between students and students and teachers. So I want you to keep that in mind as I show you through the app. So basically, we press play and we can see the video is actually going. When I press pause, you'll see down the bottom that the icons become active. I want to talk you through these icons. The key icon is the first one and I can click and drag and move that around. But basically, this icon is prompting the students to talk about positive feedback. So in this case, I want to highlight to Rachel, who will be sitting down next to me when we're watching this video and using the app, that she is doing a wonderful job of making eye contact with the camera. And so when I press play again, that icon disappears, ready to pause again and ready for the next feedback. So um, this time I want to give Rachel some constructive feedback, which is the message in a bottle. I want to give her a message. And in this case, I want to talk to Rachel about how she's using the word um at the start of her sentence during her thinking time. And we want her to try and cut that out of her speech when she's giving, um, when she's conducting the interview. So the message in the bottle in this case, I'll be sitting next to Rachel and saying, look, I want you to try if you can consciously make an effort to get rid of the um. Okay, press play again, look at another part in the video that I want to give feedback, and then pause it again. Now the last icon down the bottom here is the pencil icon. And what I can do there is when I press the pencil icon, um, I can actually make uh, physical drawings around the um, areas that I'd like her to work on. Now in this case, because it's a, an interview, I'm not going to use this icon too much at all. but in our school, we've used it a lot with uh, drama performances, practice, uh, with PE lessons, trying to teach a skill and looking at how students position their body or uh, um, actually kick a football or shoot a basketball. We've used the pencil icon quite a lot. In this case, in an interview, I'd be giving more of the key icon and the message in the bottle to Rachel. Now, you don't see the full power of this application at the moment because you can't see me sitting down next to Rachel and actually giving this feedback. But for me as a teacher, seeing students videotaping each other, sitting down and giving instantaneous um, automatic feedback to each other is amazing to see. And I think it's something that is... Uh, is at the forefront of giving feedback, especially using the video analysis uh, that we do with formative feedback for learning. So I hope that's beneficial for you, just giving you, um, I guess, a practical run through of formative feedback for learning. There's no saving facility, there's no text facility where you type feedback on, and the reason why I haven't included that in the app is because I want this to be an application that encourages talking, that encourages communication. Because an iPad in the hands of a student does very little, but if used in the right context and the right way, can be incredibly powerful. I hope you found this useful. Talk to you soon. Bye.